How's everybody doing on YouTube? Um, this is Jeff, and this is my Genesis 2 S335 Weber grill. I picked it up in May, and we just had the cookout yesterday, 4th of July. It's kind of dirty. I haven't washed it since uh, since I did buy it. And now it needs a good cleaning. I got this. It's all stainless steel. It's been holding it pretty good. Last night I kind of went to bed a little bit early didn't really get to it um, these grates were silver stainless steel silver when I uh, when I had started using it yesterday the flavor bars underneath are kind of dirty and the um, heat dispersers or the heat shields uh, those have discolored they were originally stainless steel colored I'm not that concerned about it I know they make the porcelain ones too and the uh, cast iron box is needs a good cleaning too so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull everything out and uh i'm going to toss it in the bucket um, and then i'm going to clean it up i am going to remove the burners i'll show you how to do that too that's not too difficult and um i'm not looking to make it perfect i'm just looking to make it clean and i don't want to be back to the original beautiful uh way that it was when I bought it but I love this grill so far it's pretty good this is like I said the s335 it's got the grease catch down here and storage down here it's been good it's been with this Weber 10-year warranty uh, I haven't had it for quite 10 years yet we're working on it just a little over a few months anyway a lot of uh, different things we're cooking on here yesterday sausages hot dog burgers shrimp I mean, it because my hands are stuck in, but I'll lift it up. You can see the floor is down there. Sorry about the bang. I'll probably edit that. Um, now these were stainless steel, I thought originally. We'll see what they look like after the fact. The box is all getting dirty, too. So, Try that and I'll, uh, I'll come back in a few minutes and show you what's going on. So I'm back again. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm sure you guys don't want to see me in the video too much. I'll make it simple. Clean it up. Kind of gross. The back side is really bad. Uh, that's because I don't usually take that off and scrape it, so it's going to probably require a little bit of good cleaning. Same thing on the back side. Usually I, I cook to the right. Uh, hot dogs and slow things are usually over here, so I tend to favor this side because this side has that extra burner on it, the sear side which gets it around 700, 750 degrees when I want to sear a steak or something. And as you can see, this is the workhorse one right here. This gets all the crud. Uh, you can see there is some stainless steel on it, but it's kind of discolored still. Hopefully we can get that looking good again. And get these out. So this is going to be the tricky part here. This is the new Genesis 2 style burner. Big issue with these is these tends to not want to come out. There's a lot of work going on in here. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually I'm lift this up first. Drop it down, I should I say. Big thing here, this is how they suggest to take this off. If you can see. So we recommend that we pop this up. Comes up pretty easy. Put it in the back. Do the same over there. And that's free. And I can take that out and 
clean that up a little bit, not too crazy because I don't want to ruin it. So I'm going to wash that in a different way. Let's place that over here for now. method to this I just kind of trying to pop it out does a good job I'll wipe those up afterwards make sure the contact points are clean so here we go the box is accessible now much easier to clean that way which is one of the reasons I kind of decided I wanted to get the uh, S335 this time around this is my first Weber, but I've gone through many grills and this is a pretty penny. But uh, this, the stats and the way people described it and ease of use, pretty good. All right, now that just leads me to pull these babies out here. And you can see these are called the flavor, uh, the flavor bars. And they get dirty real fast. That stuff can get pretty smelly. Go in here, got three of these babies. Suggested too, I got some thick rubber gloves on. Uh, they're disposable. But they seem to do pretty good. But I just want to show you how, how gross and nasty the inside of this thing can get. As you can see, uh, it's just caked on. It's not food, it's just grease collecting on grease on grease. Now I have some scrapers, but I can't seem to find them, so I'm going to use my nice. Cousinats, spatulas, kind of scrape this stuff down a little bit. Personally, I am a uh, easy off kind of lover. This stuff does work pretty good. So I'm gonna spray it on and let it do its job. I'm not worried about ruining my, my sensors because they're pretty tough. And I just have to make sure that the connection's good on there. Again. Now I'm not going to clean the top of the grill because that's really not that dirty. The, I mean the, uh, the inside here. A lot of people say you should clean it. Really can't get to it that well, and it's not really that, that bad. There's not that much carbon on it, so I'll save that for a more for a more uh, intricate clean where I have to pull the whole pan out or something like that. I'm not going to take this inside and clean it. I've seen people do that in videos. I just don't think that's the smartest way to do it. I don't want to put that shit in my, uh, in my uh, pipes at home. Because that grease just builds up and builds up. I'm going to let that sit for a while. And we'll come back to it. Okay, so I'm back again. It's been sitting about 15, 20 minutes. But I'm not going to marry it. It's just going to clean. I got 
got this nice scrubber here for a nylon scrubber. The goal is really to just get 90% of the gutter off. finish that off I just want to kind of give you a little idea looks nice and yummy at this point okay so we get that pretty much wrapped up I just gotta let me get over here to the sides get it in there and then I just have to uh, rinse it out a little bit. See what works best for that. So one of the best things you can possibly use for this is paper towels. Look at that. It's an amazing job. Is it all gross, cruddy? Everything gets out. You can see I'm getting right down to the metal again. Get rid of the grease. Like I said, I'm not too worried about the carbon on this. I just want the grease off. I don't want to have a fire in the yard. probably have to speed the footage up on this. You'll fall asleep if I don't. I know I would. Probably already be sleeping by now. So the thing here that I guess is important is just keeping the grill sort of clean clean. And this isn't something I would do every week. This is this is months and months and months and months of cooking here. A couple months, three, four, five months, three, five months, right? May, June, July. Actually, I bought it in March. What am I thinking? I bought it in March, April, May, June, July. I bought it just when we had a heat spur, and I knew I needed a new one. We didn't need a bunch of a winter this year. So I bought a new one, and I decided to step it up and pay a little extra for it. Um, I cook on the grill probably three to four times a week. That's why it gets like this. So I don't expect this to kind of be the normal for everybody. Just me. section done that's good I'll pause that and just kind of work my way through unless you really want to grunge through it but I uh, will pause it here and see if I can maybe speed up the editing At least the other side, this is probably the harder side of all four sides because of all the crevices and stuff. 
One thing that I find really, really helps clean the grill is a nice cold beverage. I'm going to choose Mike's here today because it's left over. It's nice cold. It makes this task a lot more enjoyable. So, yeah. uh, that's the work. So when I do clean, I use the, uh, the citrus safe stuff here. I seem to like that a little bit. It does keep the grates really clean on the stainless steel part of it. Getting in the front of this isn't as bad as the back, but there are still a couple of them I gotta get to. Otherwise, it's just gonna sit there and get worse, but it's definitely a lot better than it looked a few minutes ago. There's a lot of hard work. And I tell you they, that uh, grill cleaning and um, oven oil stuff works pretty good, I think, for what I need it for. I'll tell you how clean this looks after the fact. I forget if I showed you a close up of how close it was before. Okay, now that I get that done, I'm going to just kind of hit it with this real quick. This seems to help a little bit dry it up. Get that citrus kind of eats through a lot of this stuff. Plus, I think the other stuff dried up a little bit. Probably light that up in fire is what you guys would all love to see, huh? See the grease burn. Yeah, if I get too crazy, this could turn into a four hour project so easily. As it is, I'm probably already into this about an hour, I would 
say. And that isn't even cleaning the rest of the stuff, that's just cleaning the box. <laughs> Could probably take those out and clean them nice, but I'm not going to get to that too. That'll be a full clean when I dismember these things here and really get back there. Soak them up. That's good for this. Let's collect my grease here. Mess. Look at that, nice. You can see that even though it's still got some stuff on it, this is a really nice and clean. It's dry, uh, not a lot of grease, but the uh, enameled, the enameled, uh, there was a baked on enamel on the tr drip tray seems to really work good. And I'll put back in the cheap aluminum one that I had in the regular pan because. I'm not going to just replace it just because it's got some grease in it. It's another one of those things that they love to charge extra for. So now we're going to clean this gap, Jeff, as best we can. thing and let's start let's see I've got my dirty brush I don't think I would opt to get the stainless steel fl um, flavor device yet to see things here when I go to replace them. I think the, the enamel, baked enamel ones would be just fine to replace them with. That wasn't why I bought them anyway. Uh, it was just because I came and wanted that stainless steel grill. It's really it's, uh, unbelievable. Heavy gauge steel. It's nice. It's nice and clean. Seem to be coming too too clean. Look at this one here. This one is a interesting sort. See how that's coming right back? I'm not sure why. That's what I thought it they all should be doing, but they're not. Let's see what happens. That might just be over on that far side where I'm not usually using a burner very much anyway. Let's look at these ones here for a minute. See how they want to clean up too. You're gonna feel these will just come clean. Yeah, look at that. Comes off like butter. What's the saying? Bill even putting any pressure on it. Just keep it nice and clean.
and it looks pretty good. I know there's some spots for it. That looks good to me. Alright, so I sprayed everything down with oven cleaner. And I'm just gonna let it bake on for a while and I'll come back to it later. See how it's doing. Okay, so it's been sitting about 15, 20 minutes. And I'm gonna see how easy it is to clean off now. I'm gonna start with the flavor bars. It's a gristle instead. And just clean them off in the end. They seem to work better, I think. I don't wanna scratch these babies up because they seem to be okay. I did spray both inside and inside on these. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, I'll probably just use the brush again and do it one more time on the other side. I'll put this on time lapse so you don't have to sit and watch me painstakingly do this. It is kind of tedious. Are ready? Okay, so did a fairly decent job of doing this. I'm gonna whip it down again in a few minutes, but I just wanted to add a touch base here. Painstaking, that's for sure. As you can see, my um, flavor bars are uh, what a name, flavor bars. I don't know how much flavor they really add to the whole thing, but it's okay. Those came out really good. Probably because by the time the grease gets down there, there it's not really burning off. There's no direct heat on it. The box itself came out nice and clean. Now I'm going to attempt to try to put my uh, my burners back in. And I didn't want to. I didn't use anything on them other than the uh, citrus spray because I don't want to ruin them inside and get them all exposed to water or anything like that. I wasn't too worried about the other stuff. So I'm going to do here. Find my. Come back where they belong. Just want to grab it. Scoop these off a little bit. These weren't all that dirty, and I don't want to. It's just not broken. Alrighty then. So this is pretty easy and straightforward to put in. Let's take this piece here. 
line it up with the two holes. That's possible. And then snap them in. Feed them back inside this side of the way. Line them up. Ready? There you go. Bingo. And there it is. Now these came out pretty clean. I will say, as far as um, not really washing them too much and getting crazy about it. So that's one good thing about it. Again, line it up. It's a snap to go back in. Do your thing, and you go. Nice and easy. I guess that's where it goes, right? Could be wrong, could be right. Stick around, it gets louder. Well, we'll see how that blows up in a minute, I guess. Could be bad. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <sighs> and then when we to see if they work, let's blow it, blow it up. Alrighty then. Burner one. Lights up. Burner two. We have ignition. Burner three. It's a going two. And last but least, burner four. All burning nice and bright. Well, that's a good thing. This little baby here, we'll leave that on the empty hand. That seems to be the clean one, the clean spot. Probably shouldn't have wire brushed it, but it's okay. I can see myself replacing these in a few years anyway, so I'm not going to get over concerned about it. Um, I think those are pretty much a wear item. The, the, the box is really my big purchase here, not the uh, couple of the internal parts. I think the um, burners will last probably about four seasons. And these will probably last another one or two anyway. Probably two. Not too bad. But I don't want to get them to the point where they're all nasty, rusty, and crusted. Uh, my, my hot dog uh, my hot dog bun, what I use for hot dog buns and hamburger buns just to keep them warm, my warmer tray, that came out clean. You can see that's pretty decent. Hey, I'm a professional idiot, so don't do this at home. Okay. And then we got this one here. This one I kind of washed that down. That, uh, that came out okay. And I'm not uh, I'm not looking for cleanest in the land. I'm just looking to get it clean so it doesn't go gross. Still some in the bottom there. A lot of that will burn off. I'm going to this one. Um, and there's always, I, I've used it before, the, uh, the stone. Stone works pretty good too. You just put it on there like this. And you don't have to go too crazy. You just have to turn it What I like about that is it gets down around the edges that you don't want to get. Like I said, you don't have to do it hard. 
equally downstairs, you've got to kind of work that up afterwards. Otherwise, you end up with stone in your food. I don't want to make stone soup. I just want a nice burger or some fried shrimp. Grilled shrimp, not fried shrimp. That's it. I'm happy with it. It's going to be many, many, many years of pleasure and excitement still, I guess. I like the way that it cooks. Everything when I put it on cooks relatively even from the front to the back. There doesn't seem to be a lot of uh, um, heat spots that seem to like stick out a lot. The front's probably the weakest if you do if we want to call anything. But the way that it's designed, there's no there's no air vents in the back. The only air vent is up at the top here, where the uh, cover comes down otherwise the heat has to travel all the way up through and out that way so there's no overdraft going um, out the back side it's coming from the top which definitely contributes to whether or not this is going to have even heating or not well grill on America and subscribe hit that thumbs up and keep me encouraged bye bye